Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about all play games and today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode of You Don't Remember, we went ahead and did a lot of things. After the trial, we came over to the studios, we ripped this grate off of the drain, we talked to Sal Manella, who sucks, we also talked to Cody Hackens, the little boy from the trial, not he wasn't from the trial, but we learned about him in the trial. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and walk around the studio some more and just see what we can do. Huh? Where's that old windbag? Out of her to leave her post. Hey! Nick, that was her. Stop! Whippersnapper! Yeah, it sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Natch! Uh-oh, she tripped. Maya sure looks happy. And while she's gone, we're going to go ahead and yank a key for Studio 2, because that's also a place we wanted to go earlier, but we couldn't because it's locked. And Old Bag wouldn't give us a key. Now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh, this is it, Nick. The trailer key. The key to that trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Trailer key slipped into your pocket. Back to outside Studio 1, and as long as we don't have any more interruptions, we can go right to outside Studio 2. You know, before we head in, I know that someone's life is probably in danger, but let's just check out the scenery. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it'd, be, it'd run fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver's license? But look at the... But look, I have this. Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? An incinerator. Apparently they put this one, on, one in. It's already covered in soot. They must not clean it much. Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate the T-bone steaks too. What is it with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. In my second stomach... But something does seem but something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. No clues here. I meant to examine the gate. I guess I'll examine the two. There's a big two painted here. Probably because this is studio two. Wow, Probably, great deduction like there. Like you studio. guys truly are master detectives. Got some boxes here. These look like materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. Might as well be a junkyard. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Finally, we have the studio. On closer inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think this is part of some temporary film set. Does the door do anything? I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. It opened. Great, let's go, Nick. He seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Ah, not that eager. Into the trailer. October 18th. Studio 2 trailer. Eek! Someone's in here. Names. Uh, our names? Um, we're WB's lawyers and, um... I see. And who might you... D. Vasquez, the producer. D. Vasquez. She's quite beautiful. Go ahead and talk to her first. Day of the crime. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Miss Vasquez? Script. Excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. A, a script? The Steel Samurai. Episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? 
I need to read it. We're getting nowhere fast. Steel Samurai. Um, we'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Ms. Vasquez? It's on TV. Every week. That's all I have to say about that. Next, she's telling us to go watch TV? The nerve of her. Hey, don't get mad at me. The director. About the director, Salmonella, was it? What, uh, exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick? Are all people in the entertainment business this weird? Starting to look like it. Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there someplace else we have to check? Y yeah. Wait. Y yes. If you see Manila, give him this. Why do we have to do your errands? I I don't think I like her. <laughs> don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. All right, we'll give it to him if we see him. Yeah, we have to go talk to him again, but to put that off as much as we can, let's, uh... The glass is frosted. I can't see outside. It's far into October, the dimming daylight makes it feel like winter's coming. I guess that was sort of like a pseudo-poetry with Phoenix. Looks like they were designing a set to use for the Steel Samurai show. we have got some figures for how much the set costs. I can't believe they spend that much money on those sets. This is where they had that had that meeting. There are documents and paper cups scattered around. Nothing in here that could be a clue. Just some paper cups and crumpled documents. An old movie poster. Dynamite Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. I guess Mr. Hammer used to be quite the star. Samurai Summer, starring Jack Hammer. This poster's quite old. Wow, it's been years since I sh saw that show. It was one of those typical summer romance stories, but it was great. A typical summer romance with a samurai on a horse? Another old movie poster, The Singing Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. What the hell do samurai sing about? Chopping off heads? Oh my god, that movie was the best. It's about a samurai who sings his way to fame and fortune. Mr. Hammer was a very accomplished singer, you know? Singing Samurai Stars. What's next? Ninja Ballet? So that's a sort of... That's a sort of like... I feel like that gets referenced in a sort of way in the next game. People who've played uh, Justice for All, you'll know what I'm talking about, sort of. With the Ninja Ballet and the Singing Samurai and stuff like that. But we'll get to that later. But yeah, with D. Vasquez's voice, I just kind of felt like she'd be a weird, like, taking long pauses between her words. Outside Studio One. We're gonna head on over to the dressing room, because unfortunately, we have to talk to Mr. Salmonella. Or Salmonella. The pun is Salmonella. Why didn't they just call why didn't they just have his first name be Sam and then his last name Onella? Or yeah, like or his full name would be Sam, his middle name would start with an O, and then the his last name would be Nella. I don't know. Hey, you You wanna look at this? Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring the script for episode 13? Episode 13. We gotta put that one. I must have left it somewhere. Switch. Uh oh. I guess it's pony if I don't find it. Jake. Nick. It might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. I agree. 
because one of the places he's likely to have been would be on in some of the studios. We know it wasn't in Studio 2, so let's check out Studio 1. We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here quick, Nick. I don't know why I did the weird pause with mine, but anyway, like I was saying, it feels a bit weird doing a Let's Play like Ace Attorney because it, most of it is text with not much time in between. So I don't want to start too many, like, I, want, I don't want to say too much in between stuff because I know I'm going to end up interrupting myself. But yeah, whenever there is a long pause, I don't know, I'm just not very good at coming up with conversation topics. Next Let's Play I do will be one of the games that I normally do with not that much text, so I'll get back into the swing of just mostly doing conversation topics. Hey, look, that's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. The director. Maya, take a look around that chair for me, would you? Remember the script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he left it somewhere? Aha! Found it, Nick. Good work. Script placed in pocket. Here's episode 13 script. We found your script. Whoo, shank, still, I don't know. That woman is to be feared when you bring something to her late. Say, um, do you think you can do a character for me? Shank. Is that the, is that producer really that scary? Well, she's certainly not normal. Oh, quit making that face. Just. Back on over to Studio 2. While we're over there, I'm just. While we're heading over there, I just want to say that. I've been watching a lot of Ace Attorney Cases Ranked videos recently, and. A lot of people seem to hate the tutorial cases. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say that they're like good or anything, but I don't get the animosity for them. I just think they're, like, fine. Here's your script, ma'am. Here, we found it. Your script. Ah. Script handed to D. Vasquez. Um... Uh, you're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. Just you hold on, what's the big idea? Who do you think you are anyway? And don't you know even know who we are? Powers as lawyers? Um, right. Am I a suspect? No, it's just... Well, no, but... You wanted to know about the day of the murder? Y yes, anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know there was a meeting here at noon? Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path? The blocked path. On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked? You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. Oh, right, that. What an original name. Its head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after three o'clock. It was after four o'clock by the time the path was unblocked. Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer. Stuck until after four. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. A crane came at just after 2.30 to move the head. 
We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'd corroborate my story. But, but wait, what if the head fellow were after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30, the time of death. Very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time in ooks. One ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with the ooking. It is a monkey, after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15. That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio One at 2.30. See? Goodbye. Mr. Monkey data added to the court record. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WB who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. It sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. So yeah, not much we can do. So yeah, we gotta go to the studio main gate. And then we can head over to the Wright & Co. Law offices. October 18th, Wright & Co. Law offices. Now what? Uh, we're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. M Mia, it's you. What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh, wait. I guess that means we're in trouble. I'd say so. What, what did you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But, but, no way am I telling you losers. I don't know. He didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should get back to the studios. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks, now I'm more worried than I was before. I forgot Mia's voice, so... Yeah. Anyways, we have a few things to examine while Mia's here. The plant. My poor plant. My poor plant. It looks so... So sluggish. You've been watering it properly, Phoenix? Um, well, Maya has, actually. I think maybe she's giving it too much. That child. Sorry, Charlie. The plant's name is... Charlie? So yeah, Mia gave her name, her potted plant a name. It's a nice day outside. The hotel across the way is full of these days. There's the bellboy happily cleaning the room. We have Mia's movie poster. A poster of an old movie that Mia liked. Oh hey, Mia, what's the name of this movie? That movie? Oh, I'd sure like to see that one again. It's, um, what was it again? Sorry, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Let me guess, it's a suspense thriller. <laughs> so horrendous amount of legal books here. Scary still is the thought that I have to read all of these now. And finally, the desk. Mia's desk. Actually, it's my desk now. Sitting here always makes me feel like a professional. Hey Mia, have you seen my attorney's badge? Showing me that isn't going to do any good. You know what they say. Dead men don't tell tales. You sure are talking enough. So yeah, we'll just have to go ahead and talk to Cody next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and talk to Cody and possibly end off this investigation segment. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!